Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue on real history through reading. I'm going to continue to read the tent of meeting. Now, Moses used to take a tent and pitch it outside the camp some distance away, calling it the tent of meeting. Anyone inquiring of Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. And whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people rose and stood at the entrance to their tents. Watching Moses until he entered the tent. As Moses went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and stay at the entrance. While the Lord spoke with Moses, whenever the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance to the tent, they all stood and worshipped, which at the entrance to his tent. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face, as a man speaks with his friend, that Moses would return to the camp. But his young aide, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. Moses and the glory of the Lord. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, Lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you, my name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will Distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked, because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and I will proclaim my name. The Lord in your presence, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, You cannot see my face, or no one, for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, There is a place near me where you may stand on a rock. When my glory passed by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. The New Stone tab Tablets, Chapter 34 The Lord said to Moses, Chisel out two stone tablets like the first ones and I will write on them the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke. Be ready in the morning, and then come up on Mount Sinai. Present yourself to me there on top of the mountain. No one is to come with you or be seen anywhere on the mountain. Not even the frogs and the herds may graze in front of the mountain. So Moses chiseled out two stone tablets like the first ones and went up Mount Sinai early in the morning, as the Lord had commanded him, and he carried the two stone tablets in his hands. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him and proclaimed his name, the Lord, and he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious Lord, slow to anger, shouting, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebelling and sin, yet he does not leave the guilt unpunished. 
He punishes the children and their children for the sins of the fathers of the third and the fourth generations. Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshipped, O Lord, if I have found favor in your eyes. He said, Then let the Lord go with us, although this is a stiff-necked people. Forgive your wicked, our weakness and our sin, and take us as your inheritance. Then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Obey what I command you today. I will drive out before you the Amorites, Canaanites, Hittites. Perizzites, Hevites, and Jebusites. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going, or they will be a snare among you. Break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, and cut down their Asherah poles. Do not worship any other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is the Jealous God. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land, for when they prostitute themselves to their gods and sacrifice to them, they will invite you and you will eat their sacrifices. And when you choose some of their daughters as wives for your sons, and those daughters prostitute themselves to their gods. They will lead your sons to do the same. Do not make cast idols. Celebrate the feast of unleavened bread. For seven days eat bread made without yeast as I commanded you. Do this at the appointed time in the month of Abab. For in that month you came out of Egypt. The first offspring of every womb belongs to me, including all the firstborn males of your livestock, whether from herd or flock, redeem the firstborn donkey with the lamb. But if you do not redeem it, break its neck, redeem all your firstborn sons. No one is to appear before me empty-handed. Six days you shall labor, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Even during the ploughing season and harvest, you must rest. Celebrate the Feast of Weeks with the first fruits of the wheat harvest and the Feast of Ingathering at the turn of the year. These times a year, all your men are to appear before the Sovereign Lord, the God of Israel. I will drive out nations before you and enlarge your territory. And no one will cover your land when you go up three times each year to appear before the Lord your God. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.